Hi everyone, welcome to this video. So in this video, we are going to make a chart that looks like this. It's an overlapping uh, columns chart. However, one of the data series has a thinner bar so that you can easily see it okay, versus the uh, other bar behind, which is a little bit fatter. So you can see that if they don't, uh, they will not overlap each other uh, to the point that you cannot see the value of the lower one. So for this, let's start. So the first step that we have to do is we have to create your regular chart. So we'll highlight the data and then go to insert and then just choose your regular column chart. So not even your stack chart or anything. So next, we will change one of the bars into the color that we like. So let's say I want this to be the light blue one or the this one, okay? But obviously we still have something to do here because our, um, the, the bright blue one is still beside the dark blue one. So for that, we have to right click on the bar and then we will have to format the data series and you can actually put the overlap to 100% and you will see that they will overlap. However, the problem with this is that you almost cannot see or you actually cannot see the dark blue one, the total deliveries value because it's totally overlapped okay, by the bright blue one. So what we're going to do here is we have to click okay, the one that will be thinner and then we will uh, first maybe we'll decrease the gap so that they're a bit fatter. However, this time, so we will click on the blue, the bright blue one, and we'll go change it to the secondary axis. So if you put it as the secondary axis, then it will have a different gap width okay, versus the other one. Now, the next problem that we have is that the on-time deliveries is sort of like protruding okay, over the total deliveries, even, it should, even if it should not be because there are actually more total deliveries versus the on-time deliveries. And the reason why that is happening is because our two axes uh, do not have the same uh, last number or do not have the same interval at all. So to fix this one, we're going to right click on the secondary axis, and then we're going to format the axis so that the maximum bound is set at 2000. So now the two axes have the same uh, interval and the same higher bound or last bound. So we're now going to update the title as indicated in the image, it's total deliveries versus on-time deliveries, okay. Now the next part in the image is we have this percentage going on. So it may help to show that how much of the total deliveries are on time instead of showing the actual data labels. If we have the actual data labels, it will look like this, which somehow it's quite difficult to read, especially if you have a lot of um, numbers that are near each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to have another column in our chart or in our table, which will correspond to the on-time deliveries divided by the total deliveries. So this will set our percentage of on-time deliveries, which we will then format into a uh, percentage format. So that it would look nicer. And then we're now going to put that into our chart. So yes, the first thing we have to do is we have to bring out the data labels. But we will remove the other one here. So we will remove this as our data label, the uh, on-time deliveries. And then for the total deliveries, we will format it. 
And you will see that we have an option wherein we can change what is shown in the label on the right side. So we can show the actual value, okay, or not. So we can also put the series name, which won't make sense. So in our case, we'll actually use the other one here, the one that says value from sales. So this would allow us to choose a different range, okay, for our uh, labels. So in this case, I'll choose this one. Okay, so it's until D2 to D12, and then click OK. So now you see that we now have values from column D showing up in our data label. We then just have to remove the value so that the numbers don't show up. We only want the value from the cells showing up. And then we'll remove this leader line going on. And that's it. We now created an overlapping columns chart. So again, the trick is you just have to put the other chart, the smaller one, into a secondary axis and then change the gap from there. So that, remember, if your elements are from different axes, then they will follow different settings as well. And uh, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.